freeze, punk. Oh, sorry, that's my trainer. Welcome to training A1. Our goal will be to teach you techniques to deal with your opponent. Oh no, this voice. <laughs> Listen, give it a chance. Give it a chance. Here we will deal with direct confrontation. Tactics, methods of protecting your own ass, and attack. I'll show you everything in the simulation. It's definitely not Jason Statham earning a bit of money on the side. In room B1, you have some targets in which you can practice your aim. There's exercises of a completely different specialty in room C1. I recommend you take a look there. I recommend you take a look there. I'm an authentic New York cop, let me tell you. Oh, you sound like from East London. Nah, nah, mate, nah. I ain't. <laughs> Where's your uniform? Don't worry about it. This is definitely a fully legitimate police training exercise. Let's go. Right. Play out the tutorial scene in room A1. I'm guessing this is room A1. During the shooting, your accuracy isn't the only important thing. You can practice it with the targets in the next room. To avoid the bullet, you must use cover. This tutorial will teach you how to evaluate the effectiveness of the available shields, how to move between them, how to aim from behind them, and finally, how to shoot the enemies. As you go through the next steps of the training, you'll get short cues. So, shall we get started? So, let's do it. Start the fight. Okay. A player's turn has limited duration. Yellow bar at the top. Okay. Action points. Requiring use of a number of certain action points. The available points shown by the indicator below the time bar. If you run out of action points, end the turn. Blue available points. Red planned action. Empty. Okay. Relocation. Observe the shields around you. They mark the locations. To move to a particular one, point the cursor at it left mouse. Blue, we can go there. Orange, not enough action points. Red, dangerous. Black, too far to get away. Okay. Interesting. During the fight, we find ourselves... Okay. Shields only work if you hide in them. Ending a turn is therefore worth considering. It's a good idea to plan whether you want to protect yourself. Hide, press E. It's like turn-based first person. It's interesting. Protection on sides, okay. Leaning out, A and D. <laughs> Opponents can shoot accurately too. If they hit you, you will lose a few life points. Before the fight, pay attention to how many life points you have. There's always a first aid kit available in the car, which will heal some of the wounds. Aim and shoot. You can injure your opponent with a critical hit. It deals double injuries. It can also cause a special effect depending on the body part you hit. One, instant kill. Two, stun. Three, immobilize. Oh, I have to get closer or something? Ooh. Oh, wait, I have to like, let's get closer. Oh, I have to still aim. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nice. Those places, like where John Wick and stuff, John Wick, Keanu Reeves, and people go to train when they do action movies seems really fun. Like those sort of simulations and training sessions would be good. Wow, you can throw your voice really well. Well done, you did it. Thanks. Do you want to try again? I'm good. <laughs> no instructor, I can't wait to hear what you sound like. Welcome to my humble abode. We don't often get visitors here. I'll be honest, it's not the voice I was expecting. You can learn some very useful things here before you head out on the town. This is definitely good cop, bad cop. You can solve many situations without using a gun. Just do a little research and you might come across by. Let's start at the beginning. At this stage of the tutorial, we will talk about your equipment. Hold down inventory to access it. Go for it. A flashlight doesn't need much explaining. Its light comes on and that's it. Well, it also goes off, sir. So, you know, don't forget that very important part. 
Using the radio, you can communicate with the base and ask questions. This is important. Sometimes you can verify the information obtained or push the mission forward. You will be informed by a notification. Usually the messages are general and accessible, but in the notebook, you can see the collected information in a... The baton can be useful for stunning the opponent. Okay. Thanks to this, we can later handcuff him, interrogate him, and do not risk shooting. <laughs> it says not risk a shoot up. Do not risk shooting. To accomplish this, you must sneak up on your opponent, crouch, you move more slowly but silently. However, you risk a bullet to the head. That's a big risk. <laughs> Great. Look through your equipment and come back to me. Equipment. Cool. Hands. Notebook. Radio. Handcuffs. Stun gun. Baton. Flashlight. Cool. What does this do? Jab! Jab, jab! In your inventory, you will also find handcuffs. You can use them to handcuff a neutralized opponent that has either surrendered or been stunned into submission. You can then try to talk to him and try to get a- Not everyone's talkative, but some people open up with no problem after being cuffed. Bet they do. Did you understand everything? Uh, yeah. There are situations where an opponent can not only be tackled from behind, but also distracted or diverted. Now I'll give you some suggestions on what you can do to improve your chances. Sometimes turning a light or alarm off or on can get someone's attention. That's why it's a good idea to look around and surprise your opponent. Did you understand everything? <laughs> I understand. I'm going to ask you did I read that correctly? the movement of the dude inside of the room. Then activate the alarm with the switch on the wall and see what happens. Come back to me for further instructions. Uh, distraction of the opponent. Light on the wall. Okay, is this the light? Now we're going to test your skills. Sneak up on our colleague and give him a little tap on the head with your nightstick. Just <laughs> make sure he doesn't see you come. Did you understand everything? Yep. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Stunning an enemy. Sneak up on them. Stun button. Press E on an unsuspecting criminal. Dun 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 Say Oh Hello Hello What are you doing here? This is not the place to hang out for you. Sorry, dropped uh dropped my contact lens. Get out. Okay. Let me get you. He's got a sir, you've got a case of the shoulder ripiitis. Stun. Hold. Oh. <laughs> Great. Half the work is done. Uh Remember to handcuff your opponent crunch. after stunning him. Go now and handcuff him. Go now, handcuff him. Did you understand everything? I, I did, dude. I did. I did. Arrested enemy, handcuffs, E. Stay down. Suspect arrested. <laughs> Why was he obviously like half doing the Macarena there? Well done. It's a good idea to look around for clues at the. It could be any number of things. A lot of cash, guns, drugs. These are just a few of the possible op. Did you understand everything? Yes. What the hell? Uh, collect evidence with E. Drugs. Like, um, actually, those are the, uh, this is the evidence room. That's not the allotted, uh, stuff that you were supposed to be picking up. Quiet, Gary. Well done. I'm That's taking these me. home with me. If there's anything else you want to ask, I'll be here. Exit tutorial. I'm ready. All right, see ya. See you on Monday. Wait, hang on. Don't leave me like this. <laughs> don't leave me with Gary, please. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice time. That's the end of my training. See ya. Oh, interrogations. Time to teach you what negotiation looks like. The rules are simple. During the operation, you collect clues. You can get clues by talking to witnesses and by noticing events, things, and evidence at the scene of the investigation. 
Circumstantial evidence gives you arguments you can use in negotiations. Remember, however, that not every piece of information has to be true. You have to deduce it yourself from the conversation you've had and the leads you've found. Don't ignore messages from the radio either. LA Noir style. The more style. good hits you get, the better your chances of convincing your... Did you understand? Now let me tell you some basic facts about the criminal. You will have to decide which information is true and which is false. Okay. Choosing a card with false information will piss your opponent off. I'm Peter Fox. My girlfriend and I have been in a motorcycle gang called No Weakness for a few years now. That's funny, I'm in a motorcycle gang called Unknown Bone. I have a thick file. Excuse I've been me? written up several times for aggressive behavior and destruction of property. They say I'm a bully. Okay. You ready? I have a rather good opinion among my neighbors, so you might think that I'm not making a fuss. This is bullshit. I'm a troublemaker, and that's the truth. I've also been arrested multiple times for drug possession. My best friend knows I don't do drugs. And if I have, it's only for sale. When they caught me, they looked at my hands and did a drug test too. And guess what? Clear. <laughs> because I don't do drugs, and that's the truth. And then he's like, and now I'll start the, uh, the roleplay. So sorry, what? That was just a little about me. The only reason they got their hands on me is because I was in a brawl at the garage. Somebody called, they came, and the brawl was about money, same as always. Unfortunately, I had a few, a dozen pounds of Erin. That sounds like a lot. You already know a little bit. So what do you say? Shall we get started? Let's do it. Good. Let's get started. Preview each card. Okay. Use the left mouse button or the right mouse button on it. Use the card, drag it up there. In case of unsuccessful conversation with your opponent, the conclude the negotiations will be in red. Positive ending. Good talk with the opponent. Conclude negotiations will be blue. Okay. Let's see how. Addiction. His record indicates he had multiple previous drug possession convictions. The dealer. Wholesale quantities of drugs were found in his possession. A friend of mine said he doesn't use himself, he sells it to other people. Missing information. His record indicates he had multiple previous drug possession convictions. Multiple previous drug possession. Missing information. Neighbors say he behaved respectfully. Okay, so the dealer? When we stopped you, you had a lot of heroin on you. How do you know it's heroin? Did you try it? I mean, we have tests uh, with the police. Right, you've got a lot of smart-ass friends. I know from them you like to sell things. What sells best? Meth? Blow? Junk? Huh? You selling some junk? It depends on what I have a special deal for. Do you get the joke? No, I don't. Explain it to me. But I'll tell you what, your thick file doesn't lie. Dude, you got a record of, for possession of... Oh, come on, stop with the bullshit. Why do I feel like I'm doing one of those uh, duets? I'm the blue line, you're the red line, acting auditions. Alright, alright. I was stealing, okay? That's all. Kids like this shit. And I like good money. Well chosen argument. Reliable information. This is how you can convince your interlocutor. What is an interlocutor? I've never heard of that word before. Word of the day. Okay. This one, your addiction. You've been arrested several times for possession of... Are you really gonna argue with that? You know that we have... You know that... You know that what we have is enough to lock you up. <laughs> You're the worst officer ever. Just because I had it doesn't mean I took it. You should have listened to my friend instead of my stupid girlfriend. He said I don't use it, right? And that if I have any, I sell it. Besides, you saw my hands. You saw the test results. I'm clean. Sweep the water off the table. <laughs> Listen here, buster. Your argument in this situation was ill-chosen. You'll only lose the suspect trust. Oops. Oh, I should have just concluded it after that first card, probably. You've been in a lot of trouble a few times. You were recently arrested for robbery. Right away. Robbery. Big deal. I broke a window or set fire to a dumpster. Everybody does it. I don't. Get off my ass. You'd ask my neighbor what a good neighbor I am. I only threatened her with a baseball bat once because the idiot kept their dog on a chain. Okay. We won't keep going back to it if you give us something better. Something or someone. I won't talk about others. 
but I might know something about some job. You know that supermarket in town? Well, chosen argument. Reliable information. Okay. No, come on, this is pointless. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so I just have to pick that first one and then finish it, I guess? You ready? I guess so, sir. Oh, I've got to Good. Go. The dealer. How do you... Yes, it's heroin. But that's all I have. What? But the other two were both bad, right? Maybe it was the order I did them in? I don't understand. Well, the ah, there we go. Alright, alright. I see you know what this is about. You talk me through it. New ass assignment. Exit the tutorial. I'm ready for the streets. I used to really like the police quest games, the really old ones. You had a really thick manual with them, and it had all of the police codes and stuff in. And literally when you pulled people over, it wouldn't tell you in the game what stuff was. It would be like, oh, I got a 361, and you would have to like follow the protocol in this thick like police manual. Because it was made with like some proper police officer that talked them through how it all, like the, the full protocol and stuff. And I can just remember spending like an hour after pulling someone over, going through the manual, sitting there and doing stuff step by step to like get through this routine stop. <laughs> like otherwise you would get shot or something. You had to be like, right, first you identify yourself and then you sort of do this and do that. It was like pretty interesting. Um, Anna PGN or Anna, thank you so much for the prime welcome. I appreciate it. Are you the new guy? The chief says you're stubborn as a mule. That's me. Wait, what's your name? Price, right? Scott Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Apparently you wanted to move to us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? What? You're not gonna say? Okay, not really my business. Hey, hey, can you turn that music down? Jesus. Sorry, I'm watching my favorite sad anime. There's a report. A fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. I'm out of here. Bye. This is just what's in our ears. It's like the headphones. And we're just like hearing him muffled through it. It's out there with some ear pods in. Uh, welcome to the map menu. Choose your missions here. Okay. Police headquarters. Parking lot brawl. Woo! Let's go. Sorry, that was the sound of my... Um, I sounded excited, but that was that was my my wee woo on the top. That was my woo thing, you know. What is a siren? That's it. In the police car, you'll find a police computer and a first aid kit. Computer gives the information you need to know about the point you responded to. First aid kit. Thanks. 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 Okay. We're here. We use my little tippy taps. A collision was reported in the parking lot outside a local supermarket. Involved in the incident, two people. Parking collision in San Adrino. Here we go. Got those Monday morning blues. Got those blues morning Monday. This should be on bad design Reddit. Take happy, be happy. Hmm. Sorry, collision. Right, what happened here, gents? Good morning, sir. I'm the one who reported our little accident. Okay. What happened? I was pulling out of the parking lot and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. Right. You're okay, right? No, come on. It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Okay. Alright, get your papers ready while I talk to the other gentleman. <laughs> get out on the ground! Sorry, hello. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? that I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. Take it easy. Tell me what happened. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him. But, you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? I don't understand anything you're saying, I'll be honest with you. 
I know. I have to report it anyway. Fill out the paperwork. Get your paperwork ready. Sure, you got it. <gasps> uh oh. Report gunshots over the radio. Oh, I should have reported my arrival. I should have taken out base and back up. Copy that. 10 4. Now what? My notebook? During routine work, I heard gunshots coming from inside the supermarket. He's like, whoa! Find someone who saw what happened. Ah, okay. Should probably put this away then. <laughs> I'm just. I just stood here. Please! Help me, please! My daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as they started shooting. I was sure she was right behind me, but. Calm down, I'll find your daughter. Yes, she was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around and she was gone. Besides the fact they fired, do you know anything her. else? I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm so scared for my Camille. Camille. All right. A missing child. Going in. By cuteness, by cutify, cosmetic products. Oh, 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 can I? Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, hello, hey. sir. Psst. Shh. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. They? The attackers? Yeah. They're going around for someone else to shoot. Uh, have you seen a little girl? What? A girl? I don't know. No, I don't think I saw her, but someone definitely ran into the restroom. Maybe it was her. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. Maybe you should just get out of here. If I move out of here, aren't they gonna shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? Uh, please wait. I'll come back to you when it's safe. I got this. It's my first day on the job. Shash beer. Only thing worth drinking. Chug it down like your life depends on it. Customers shopping happy. <gasps> These are some big melons. Mmm. I had pizza for dinner. Got some sad little sausages hanging off there. Cop? Do you think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? What? Drop the gun and get down. I hate cops. Die! Never. I mean, one day, but not today. I probably should have uh, incapacitated him, huh? Oh well. Are you okay? Bing bong. We need a uh, clean up for jam on aisle three. Evidence. Made a right old mess. Lion's share, fruit rings. Victory peas. Hmm. <gasps> Waffles. Oh, the dead end. Hang on. Who's that? Doghouse? Quickly. I'm going to count to three. And then I'm going to shoot your tail off, okay? Put the gun down. Don't do anything stupid. Ha! <laughs> Good. <laughs> three, I shoot. I shoot. Do you know what? Let's try incapacitating this guy. Give us someone to question. Oh, I might need to hide, actually. Oh, no. That's going to take more, isn't it? Let's go here. Let's try and get one alive. Thigh shot. Immobilized. 
Oh, that doesn't take you down. I'm gonna have to get up to you with a baton, I guess. Maybe. Oh wait, hands was non-lethal, right? Oh dear. Very sensitive hands he had. I see you're hurt. There's a first aid kit on the wall by the door. <laughs> Use it, then we'll talk. Use it, then we'll talk. Crank him in neck. <sighs> there we go. Looks like you're saving my life. Guess so. Thank you. I'm the store manager. I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup. Don't ask me what, because I have no idea, but the thing was supposed to be in our Drugs. warehouse. You ask me, I'll ask you. Uh, maybe? What else is there? I'm sure someone's supposed to pick this up. That's all I know. I have information that two or three people are responsible for this mess. Two of them are off the hook. The third? The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Who knows what he's looking for in there? How do I get there? As you walk uh, through uh, the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. I don't have it, and I don't think Richard has it as well. The big ones. Yes, yes. There you go. Just be careful, huh? The guy was sharp. Thank you very much again. No way. This is my store and my people. I'm responsible for them. I'm staying. This isn't the Titanic. Don't be a hero. Get out of here. It's like, why are you talking like that? Sorry. That might make me sound more intimidating, but it's just hurting my voice. It's locked. Goodbye. No. No. <laughs> Is this guy? Oh, no. Another dead civilian. But he had some fantastic facial hair. The police? Jesus, finally. Help me. He's not breathing. <laughs> this guy's head's massive. The ambulance will be here any minute. What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here a lot, and today... shit. Today he shit? Yes, I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check one of the refrigerators, and it started. You don't even know. It's a living hell. Okay. Don't move. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Go now. Good. Sure thing. I changed my mind. Straight to the exit. I'll be in the parking lot if you... <laughs> the running. Okay. Do I have the key for these now? He gave me the key right. Hey, what are you doing here? I mean, freeze. You're losing ground, Morgan. Your people are out of my hair. You want to talk to me like a human being and try to end this fast without bloodshed? <laughs> you make me laugh so hard, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. Any cop that says to, to a gunman, you want to end this farce, sir? Wow, we're negotiating. Detroit Mafia. One of your guys, right before he started shooting at me, was yelling about the Detroit mob. What? What did he yell? What are you talking about? Holy chosen argument. Okay, okay, that was all the cards I had. I guess I'll just end these negotiations now. First you made me laugh, and now you pissed me off. I don't like it. The price for that is a bullet in the head. Ah. Get behind the door. Ow. No blood, though. Oh! 
I have been ignoring my radio. Hello? Uh, suspect killed. And uh, second suspect killed as well. Sorry, Roger that. I also killed a third suspect. There's a dead civilian. Send an ambulance. Yeah, probably. Probably too late now. Uh, another civilian. There we go. And it's the Mafia. Wonderful. Sorry. I feel like my radio should make a noise. Yeah, where's the missing kid? In the toilets, they said. Let's go have a look. Oh, it was drugs. It was hardcore drugs. Where is the child? Ah, restrooms. Closed restroom door. Um, hang on, how do I look at my notes? The restroom door is locked. Someone who has the key uh, can be outside. Or maybe that guy. He said Richard had the key, right? Who's Richard? Dicky, where are you? See you from Spain? Nice. I've been to Spain a lot of times. I like it. Is it over? Your people are outside. Go <sighs> to them. Yeah. Go to them. Grabs a baguette on the way out, just starts chomping it. What's on my radio? Drugs. I found drugs. Bing. Right, who's got the keys? I need to find this child. Officer, please save my baby. <laughs> the way he stands. Is there anything else I can do to help you? Oh, you're Richard. Give me the keys. Look in the restroom. Here. I have, I hope the child is okay. Some help you were. Gotta save him. But first, some nuts, kitty. What do you want, guys? Cashews, hazelnuts, walnuts, raisins? Almonds? Pistachios. I love a pistachio. Peanuts. Crisp. Hello, child. Let's probably put the weapon away, right? Hello? Leave me alone! Please leave me alone! Uh, I'm a police officer. Hey, hey, take it easy. See that? It's a badge. I'm a police officer. She's like 13. Hey, come on, I'm a police officer. You see my badge? He was shooting at me. I ran away, but I was so scared. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right. You're safe now. Mother's waiting outside the store. Mom? She ran away? She did. Oh, she left you. Good. Can I go to her now? You can, but you might want to be mad at her for the rest of your life for leaving you behind to die. Go see your mum. Ah! Slam the door in my face, child. Thanks, I get. Ah, a moving reunion. Found her for you. Uh, yep, there you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so moving. Wow, she survived. She definitely, uh, definitely calls for a really casual conversation. This whole situation. Thank you so much. I was so scared for her. I really... Thank you so much. Don't go away yet. We're going to need your testimony. Of course. Those bastards will have to pay for this. Well, they're already dead, but yeah, sure. You saved me. I was afraid I wouldn't see my mom again. Thank you. <laughs> and just like so casually like, wow, that was, yeah, so you're, you're here. You're, you survived. I did. No thanks to you. Listen, it's just one of those cold, unloving parental relationships. It's fine. We're not huggers. Sorry. Hey, 
hey, what about this, the fender bender? Listen, I've had a day. Wait, wait, wait. We'll talk. What? I went through your file, and I know everything, Price. What? You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? My secret. Oh my god, you know my secret. Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? Listen, man, you don't know how deep this goes, how high up the chain this thing rises. I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah, seriously, let it go. I've never heard that rule. Like ever. When you're done here, get your ass to the police station. <laughs> you know what they, you know what they say. If you're a surgeon, don't cut on yourself. Beep. What do we get? When it's when find the other people in the store, get them out when it's safe. Okay, so I like told them to leave too early or something. Good evening, America. Here's the news. <laughs> Good evening, America. Here's the news. Robbery of a local supermarket. The situation was contained by one police officer. As a PR spokesman for the police told us, yesterday's situation was the supermarket was a result of, quote, they play these games, they watch no licks, and everyone thinks they can be like that Danny Ocean or another John Dillinger. I'm for a media ban, and I'll vote for it. Bong. Police officer hero to mum and daughter. Bong. Police incompetence lost a witness to the incident. He promised to come back for me when it was safe, so I waited. He made me spend three nights in that damn supermarket, testifies lost witness. The officer himself <laughs> declined to comment on the matter. I, because I didn't go back, that guy spent three days in the supermarket just living off of melon. He told me to wait, he told me he'd come back for me. He's like Gilbert Grape. He told me to come back for me, I sat here. I sat here for three days. I was shivering. I was eating melon. He told me come back for my. Whoops. Stalker at motel. Hostage at the station. Let's go get a stalker. It's, uh. Oh, what was that game? Closing shift. <gasps> it's raining. I see someone already called for you. What about it? What's going on? I don't know, but I hear loud screams and a woman crying. From some motel room, I think. I thought it might be a typical husband-wife brawl. You know, the food wasn't to his liking or something. Yeah, so typical. But then I remember that two women have been kidnapped in the area. <laughs> I'm sorry, if it was a typical husband-wife brawl, you weren't going to call me? It's because you thought there was a kidnapping in the area, Bar Boris. We need to have a talk after this, okay? I'm glad someone called you. Oh, you didn't you call me. Someone else did. You've just been sitting here. Okay. Good. Good to know, Boris. So which room was it? I don't know for sure, but I think it's more like the other end of the building. Okay. Yeah, sit back down. Don't stress yourself, mate. It's fine. All right, missing students. Two young girls recently lost in the area have not been found. Suspect lives in the neighborhood where they were last seen. Man screams. Woman crying. Heard from one of the rip. Walking like he's got a bloody slush puppy in his shoes. Oh, good evening. Are you all right? Are you all right, mate? Hello. Hello, what, what, did you hear anything disturbing in or around the motel? No, not particularly. I actually just got here, so... No screaming or crying? No, nothing really. I'm sorry. Okay, suspicious. I'm gonna look around. Whose car is this? Who are you? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? Why are you questioning my guests? Officer Scott Price. Great. Another price. You're gonna bring me bad luck, too? What are you talking about? Was there anyone here with the same name? A man? Yeah, there was this guy. Give me a sec. Jack Price. I took pity on him because he was broke. 
for free. But the bastard, before he ran off first thing in the morning? Lesson for me, huh? You know? I know. You don't know where he is now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I can't help you. Okay. Information from one of the motel guests he heard screaming and crying like someone was abusing a woman. Any idea who and what room that might be? Um, you know this is a motel, right? A cheap motel. It's where people come to do all kinds of weird shit and yell a little bit. I've learned to stay out. Thomas Jones, does that name ring a bell? Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I Did know he cause problems? He got drunk. Made a ruckus in the pub next door. Then came to me and threatened to get my daughter if I talked to the police. I didn't care that much for his talk, but... That you much? You know, he made my blood boil. What room is he in? Room one on the first floor. I saw that he came in with some woman. Either that's his wife, or... Besides the room he's in, he's paid for another one. He gave a big bonus, so... Two rooms. I didn't go into why he needed it. Confirm it. I have his personal information. I took it off his ID. I need to get this man to the police station. Give me the code. I'm not gonna ask for a warrant, because he's obviously got a lot on his plate. Get him out of here. The code's one one four 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 five two. I don't think so. I'm just waiting for him to check out. Yes? You've, you've been strangely helpful, but also I understood nothing of what you said. Room number one. Oh, radio. I'm at the scene. The guy was being treated for depression. He went off his meds. Therefore, according to his therapist, mood swings. He insisted she was that she was the only one who understood him. He began stalking her. Dictating suspect's personal information. Give me anything you can dig up. We don't have a file. Okay. Check my little notebook. Uh-oh. Gun, gun, gun. I wonder if I can sneak up on him. Oh, let's try and take him out. Yeah. Wait till he goes. Freeze, punk! I feel like it was there, wasn't it? Oh no, try again. We were so close. Gonna do it right as he goes. Dun 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 dun. Oh! I didn't do that. Put the gun down, let's, let's talk. talk. Yeah, sure. Why should I talk to you? I might be your last chance. He's obsessed with his victim. You think you're the only one who feels misunderstood and rejected? You scared the out of that woman by coming into her life. You know what they do to people like you in prison? Do you really want to end up like that? This doesn't seem like the right way to go with this guy at all. I don't want to. It's, it's too late, okay? To undo all of this. Oh, let's end it there. Alright. I've thought it over. I give up. <gasps> what did you do? Get down! Stay down! Why is there blood here? <laughs> That's me beating you. Get cuffed. Give me that gun. Hello? Is it over? Is it over? Have you taken care of him? You're safe now. Thomas kidnapped that therapist of his. Oh my god. He said he was keeping her somewhere close. He's been looking into her, but I don't know if she's at the motel or somewhere else. You have to find her. Relax. I'll find her. <laughs> like, this guy needs more training. Hey, relax. You're getting hysterical here, lady. Where 
Where are you keeping her, eh? You said you needed two rooms. Don't waste any time. You. Where is she? I know my rights. Where is I she? Anything. I'm not saying another word without a lawyer. We're gonna find her with or without your help. You want to get yourself a longer sentence? Go ahead. Don't talk. Fuck you. Wow. Uh, where's the fun in that? All right. What's the other room that he had? Hello? Nothing. Just a cup of coffee. Peeking in the windows. Open the window. Closed. Where is she? We gotta go talk to that guy again. Oh wait, let me call the radio. Hostage safe. Suspect neutralized. Ten seventy six. Who is coughing away in here? Is it? Is something wrong? I can't believe it. It's the guy from room one, isn't it? I ran into him from time to time because he was out smoking. He was hanging around the bar a little bit too. Mm. And I once heard him discussing his truck with another hotel guest. That man had already the checked truck. out. She must be around here somewhere. I saw her once. Smaller, white, I think. I have no idea. Truck. Police, what's the matter? Uh, miss, uh, we're having a conversation. Yeah. I saw one. I think the guy from room one parked it behind that diner next to the motel. Alright. This isn't a truck. By the diner? Ah! No, that's a ah, truck. Or is it behind? I can't get that way. Oh! Ah! There it is. This is a van. More of a van, I would say. Oh, it's locked. Go pester him. What's that noise up there? Holy shit, so he's a complete nutcase. Check out room number three downstairs. That's the other room's Jones rent. Okay, room three. Uh, uno, dos, tres. Oh, there we go. My radio did make a noise. Weapons and cash. It's like the old... I love the old SWAT games. Police Quest SWAT. Like the first one, I feel like, was actually FMV. Full motion video and stuff, which was pretty cool. And then the second one was like a top-down kind of thing. And then the third one was kind of like this. Kind of graphics, computer graphics. We got a. Oh, at last. I was so afraid that crazy man would leave me here. Are you alright? I only have a few bruises, but it's it's nothing serious. And he, Thomas, how is he? I killed him. Oh my god, I'm only kidding. He's no longer a threat. And his wife, is she alright? Take it easy. It's alright now. <laughs> this guy loves telling people to relax. My work here is done. The case of the squelchy shoes. Nice car. Ford Escape. 6.2 litre. 23 horsepower. Nitro boosters. And now for the news. 
Ong, do you need to relax while traveling or maybe to hide from the police because you have a guilty conscience? It's a new ad for a motel where two kidnapped women were held not long ago. One of them was the kidnapper's psychotherapist. We do not recommend the motel. According to the source, in a place like this, you never know what kind of psycho may be staying in the next room. Ong, more at 10. Police officer nominated as local Herlock Sholmes in an interview with the editor's office. Witnesses unanimously reported that the policeman who arrived on the scene was as thorough in his investigation as a, quote, perfect housewife in the white glove test. One of the motel guests added, we need more capable police officers like this one in our city. He knew exactly what to ask. It was like someone had programmed him in advance. Meow. <laughs> this game's silly. Let's see what this one is. Good night, Moki Moe. Have a good day at work. Ooh, gas station. Radio. Oh, sorry. Oh dear. I am here. Eh. Yeah. Oh god. Wrong pocket. Hello? I was the one who called. <clears throat> I seem to have pooped blood everywhere. Are you hurt? Yes, please. It's happened. And? Have you called yet? Oh, an ambulance, right. Sure. Civilian down, stabbed in the leg. <sighs> Hurts like hell. Ambulance is on the way. Yes. Yes. It's a miracle I managed to escape. What happened? I was trying to pay for gas. And they rushed in. Started brandishing guns and yelling at everyone. Are you that okay, it was a sir? Robbery. Sorry. This happens sometimes. It'll pass. Oh. It's bleeding more and more. Well, don't say that. Was oh, sir. 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 It's all right. It's going to pass. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wanted to get out of there right away, but one of them grabbed me. We started fighting and ended up with a hole in my leg. Okay. Son of a bitch. Thank Stay you. here. I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, thank you, Kelfie, for the triple four. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, little Moni? I'm very glad that you came. But wait, wh where's your backup? It's okay, I'm Herlock Sholmes. No, someone else did it faster. I've been working at this station for a few months, you know. I went out for a smoke, and I think that, that cigarette saved my ass. Security? No security. The boss is a master at cutting cost. I got this. I, I got this third time lucky, there we go. Put them up, punks. It's locked. Go in the back. Get fit with rage fit. What's in here? Hurricane. Tortilla triangles. Runner. Uranus bar. Milk chocolate. Anna Macau. Patrick. <laughs> the new drink. What are you drinking? Patrick? Right. That's close too. Hmm. Wait, wait. Uh, di didn't you happen to be involved in that last operation at the uh, supermarket? That's me getting recognized everywhere I go. I heard about you. Uh, m my wife is there with her daughter. You know, I usually go shopping alone. But thanks, okay? But that you, uh, you took out the bad guys? That's nice. I'm here for something else. It's, it's a mess, huh? The, uh, that guy? The, the one that got away? What happened? Uh, I, I didn't see much. Uh, uh, I heard there were... I mean, I, I may have seen them, but... What are you doing I here? I was that? Uh, I'm smoking a cigarette. That, as you can see. Uh, I'm taking a break from my drive. I just... I, I, I just had to get out from behind the wheel for a little... <laughs> You're stubborn, but... but I all right, that was a waste of my time. Hello. 
Guys, that means there's something much bigger going on at the station after all. We heard the police sirens. Uh, are you going to tell us what happened out there? No, no, no. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, and I won't even go out for a smoke. Do you know the owner? Very vaguely. If that's ever... Hmm. 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 Everyone's just carrying on working as normal. The Venus Project, a prosperous future for all the world's people. It's weird this is here if there's nothing going on, right? I'm gonna get in. Go talk to that guy that works here again. Where's that ambulance? This guy's gonna bleed to death. I already told you what I know. Uh, the owner? What? I already told you what I know. Tell me what happened. Isn't it happening? Aha. And we get in this way. The bumbling detective. Oh. suspect to turn around. Hide behind dumpster. Count to five. In German, ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Uh, hide again. Miscounted. Five eleven. Bald. Red. Right. Oh, sh shoot. Oops. Damn, damn it. Drop your weapon. I'm not taking the rep for this mess. Not happening. You're alone. I'll shoot you and run. How about that? Why do you sound like this is a weird ASMR video, sir? S stop. Stop whispering at me. Yet. Uh, where did you come from? I don't know how to thank you. I thought this crazy lunatic will find me. Yes, I was taking out the trash when all this started. I heard gunshots and screaming, so I immediately hid behind this bus. I was so scared. The front door is locked. I think so, but you know what? My brother Daniel works in the garage next door. You'll know him instantly. Please, tell him I sent you. He's a grumbler by nature, but I think so. The boss hates drafts, but there's a way to open one window side from the outside. Yes, yes, go to him. Okie dokie. Have a little peek. What's going on here? So I've got to go back to the garage. Oh, the radio, yes. Suspect dead. I uh, can't pay that. runs in panting. <sighs> I need to open a door. Yes? Anything else? Very vaguely. If that Wait, who am I supposed to talk to? Ah, there we go. We really have a lot of work to do. Oh, only that I Not you. Ellie! Get off your ass and hand me a Uh, did you see what happened? What? No, 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 no. I've been messing with this thing for an hour. <laughs> I should have been home by now. I didn't see anything. Wait, aren't you also a uh, teacher at the local police station? Uh, no, 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 that's not me. That's my twin. Where's her brother? Huh? She said in here, right? Grouchy. Closed code required. Yes? Anything else? If that's ever... What was that guy? That, none of these were Daniel, right? Isn't that what she said? Works here. Check me notes. 
The witness's brother can open the back door for me so I can enter quietly from the back. It works in the garage in the workshop. Maybe able to open the door. That's here, right? The auto. You're probably here about what happened at the neighbor. The guy outside. What? What what do you mean? Was she working today? She was supposed to be off. Shit, I didn't even know. Where is she? She's in the back of the station. She's fine. Do you know the girl who worked with your sister? The one who was recently fired? Yes, I do. Sally was telling me a little bit about what was going on over there. <laughs> also, I, I met this friend of hers. Well, yes, I do. This, this is the voice that I would go with if I was in the Wild West, I think. This girl came to me and asked for a loan. I can only guess that it was to, you know, fix the problem. She even went to Ryan, our lazy manager, about it. This whole mess is because of that? Don't tell me Bob's behind this. Sally said he took great care of his sister. He would bring her to work, pick her up when she finished late. They were close. He would probably got pissed when he heard about what happened. Okay. All of this is from your sister? Y yeah, we talk a lot. She was very concerned about this girl and her problems, but, but I, I don't know anything else. I, I haven't really looked into it that much. She, she sure do talk a lot. We have a saying around here, we say she could talk the ears off a goblin. <laughs> Sorry, what was that accent at the end there? I said goblin. 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 Wait, how do you say goblin in the south? Goblin. It's the... Uh, it's the... It's like the jaw sounds that are hard. A gow... She could t talk the ears off an elf. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. I need your help. <laughs> Let me guess. Sally sold this to you? She the front and back doors are locked. The front door is operated by the fuse box. People could be it's dying. Outside. I can get it to you. You're a good thinker. Move it. I'm your huckleberry. Oh my god, sir. This is an emergency situation. This is as fast as I can go. The doctor told me I can't go any faster than this. I'm like the kid in Minari. I can't get too worked up. Little life of my own pace. The real question is how many times you gonna reference Minari in the last couple of streams. That's two for two. It's weird. All right, out the way. Ah, don't worry about that. I shut the window after I opened it. <laughs> he saw me. <laughs> Dogs always have to stick their noses in other people's business. Like it or not, that's our business. Don't be a dick. We better talk. What do you want? I'm tired of talking. I got nothing. Fuck you, cop. <laughs> Enough of this talk. I kind of, I'll be honest, I kind of rushed this one. I'm putting you down, punk. Nice. Ow. Oh my god, he's got a lot of health. Ow. Miss. Is there any health anywhere? Oh, this is not good. Make him count. I got you. Yeah, we haven't had a single one where we actually have to hit people with the bat, right? I think Officer Gary just enjoys making us hit his co-worker and handcuff him. I don't think that's actually part of police training at all. It doesn't seem to be part of protocol, does it? Police? Does that mean it's over? Alright. Thank you so much. Bye. Suspect killed. Oh, sir.
What you doing? Knock, knock. This is the police. Hmm. Come out, come out. The doors are already open. And I'll be taking some spaghetti with me for my troubles. Oh. <laughs> he left his pants? <laughs> I mean, you would, wouldn't you? After that debacle. We out. And now for the news. Bong. Cupid's arrow straight in the heart of a wounded witness to a gas station robbery. The man was almost in a very serious condition when the ambulance arrived at the scene. Under the influence of strong pain medication, he professed his love to both paramedics who attended to him. At the hospital, his condition stabilized, but his love for all the nurses in the ward did not go away. Made much weirder by the fact he left his poopy pants behind on the floor. Bong. The owner of the gas station literally has a bullseye on his back. Literally. <laughs> the, the, the worst, the worst journalist of all time. Literally, literally. The woman's heartbreaker finally fell into a love trap. His last love turned out to be way off base. The brother of the girl whom the pickup artist charmed with his original beauty, only to eventually break her heart, took matters into his own hands. On behalf of the editorial team, we would like to thank the brother for his proper civic attitude. Made zero sense. A woman frightened, a policeman on duty. She faces up to two years in prison. <laughs> what? The officer in a conversation with the editorial team admitted the woman came out of nowhere. He nearly screamed like a sissy because of her. The suspect in the scaring case was hiding from one of the perpetrators of the attack behind a trailer at the back of the station. She stresses she didn't mean to scare anyone, but the sight of a shaking police officer made her laugh a bit. That's ridiculous. The City Rapport. That was bananas.